Hey everybody, welcome to Combat Saturday for June 27th, 2020. I'm your host, DM Galabond. All right, today on Combat Saturday, we are going to be talking about the Great Sword. Um, Great Sword is something that's been around forever in D&D, but it's actually gone by a couple of different names. So let's go ahead and get into this by looking at the 5th edition version of this weapon. It's a martial melee weapon. It's kind of on the expensive side. It costs 50 gold pieces, and it weighs 6 pounds. Keep that 6 pound weight in mind as we look at the history of this weapon. So... Proficiency with a great sword allows you to blah, blah, blah. yes, of course. So you add your proficiency bonus with it. It's a sword, so it is a slashing weapon, 2d6, um, which from all of the basic weapons, if you will, all the ones that you can get as a first level character that aren't magical and everything, 2d6 just about puts it as high on the damage curve as you can get because you're guaranteed a minimum of 2 damage and you can get up to 12. By comparison, a Great Axe is 1d12, so it still tops out at that 12, but it's, uh, it does have the possibility of giving you just 1 damage. Um, again, 6 pounds, and it's got the heavy and two-handed properties uh, on it. You, usually you'll find Great Swords wielded by fighters or paladins or barbarians, uh, you know, these classes that really like to get uh, up in the face of the enemy and fight. Okay, now if you go all the way back to original D&D, &D, way, 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 way back, um, we did have a sword that is the same as a great sword, but in that case, it was called a two-handed sword. So uh, it spent several of the first editions of D&D being called a two-handed sword, because that's essentially what a great sword is. It's a two-handed sword. And it dealt 1d10 damage. Uh, 15 was the um, cost, so 15 gold. So it was pretty cheap compared to 50 gold. Now, the weight was 100 coins, and uh, was, for those of you that are familiar with the older editions, you may remember that 10 coins equals a pound. So, 5th edition sword is 6 pounds, the original edition sword is 10 pounds, or 100 coins. And then, of course, it's uh, two-handed, and this L means that it is a large weapon. Okay, so that is original D&D. Then we go and we look at first edition D&D. And the, again, it's a two-handed sword. There's no such thing as a great sword in this edition yet. Uh, so two-handed sword, it's cost 30 gold pieces. So uh, 50 today, it was 15 in original D&D. Well, now they've doubled the price and it's 30. And then as we look at, you know, they break up the tables in this edition um, for different things. So, weapon type, the weight in gold pieces. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Sword to hand. 250 gold piece weight. 25 pounds. 25 pounds? Is it a frickin' sword or is it a damn barbell? Okay, 25 pounds? Yeah, hey. Yeah, you pull the weights off of a barbell at a gym, and that's about, I think that's about 25 pounds. Um, you know, so it's like, not something you'd be swinging around, it's something that would be swinging you around. Uh, you know, 25 pounds doesn't sound like a lot, but you, know, you ask some uh, actual person who knows how to fight with weapons, uh, you know, trying to maneuver a 25-pound a uh, big long thing and it's not easy okay uh <laughs> six pounds i mean that has a lot of nice heft and you can use that momentum in a way as you're as you're fighting with it but 25 pounds it's like 
Okay, now you really got to be uh, careful with that. All right. Uh, 1d10 damage with a small or versus a small or medium creature. 3 to 18 damage against a large creature. So 3d6 damage. Uh, 1d10 damage against small or medium opponents. 3d6 against large. So, yeah, it's got that 25 pound weight well there it comes when you're hitting like a large creature it's gonna you know they're really gonna feel it all right now let's go to the second edition rules of D. &D. once again don't have anything called a great sword but we do have the two-handed sword oh hey 50 gold pieces so now it's the same price as fifth edition um it's 15 pounds. So it's six and fifth six pounds in fifth edition, ten pounds in original D D, twenty-five pounds in first edition. Now for second edition, okay, it's gone on a diet and it's down to fifteen pounds. It's a large weapon, does slashing damage. Um and what is this? Is this the uh, speed factor is ten. Yeah, 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 okay, speed factor. Yeah, that was a weird thing that they um, uh, you know, that was some mushroom that somebody smoked when they were doing the, um, uh, second edition D&D &D rules where, well, man, let's have everything have, you know, like a time factor on it so that, you know, when you're fighting with a little dagger, you know, it's, it's like really fast, man. It's like cool. And then if you have a big clumsy weapon, it's like a really big factor man because it takes a long time man i mean like i could smoke a whole doobie from the time that i go on a backswing until the time i connect you know man okay so <laughs> and again it does 1d10 damage uh small and medium and 3d6 to large okay um now does it have no, it does not. Okay, it doesn't have any any kind of special features, um, special notes to the weapon. All right, so let's go to third edition. Third edition. You have, hey, guess what? We finally have a greatsword. And it's 50 gold uh, for the cost. So that cost seems to stabilize. It's 1d10 damage against uh, smaller medium creatures, 2d6 damage against large creatures. Uh, crit range of 19 to 20. So that means that it's a natural, it, it's naturally crit on either a 19 or a 20. Most of the time things are naturally crits only on 20. And the crit factor is times 2. So you just roll the damage and you multiply it by 2. And hey, it's continued on its diet. It's looking rather svelte. It's getting back into, you know, back into the old uh, high school uh, blue jeans. Uh, it's down to eight pounds. You know, it started off as 10 pounds in original edition, eight pounds, and it's a slashing weapon, of course. And then we go to fourth edition. Great sword. All right. Uh, plus three proficiency, 1d10 damage. Okay, so uh, third edition was the only one that landed on that 2d6 for any of the damage types uh, that we have in fifth edition. Everything else was somewhere around the 1d10 uh, to 3d6 range, depending on if it cared about the size of the opponent. 30 gold piece cost, so it's a little bit, and it's holding steady at eight pounds. Uh, heavy blades, and there's no special properties to it. So, that is the greatsword. That is the evolution. Okay, why do you care about that? Well, you know, sometimes it's just kind of interesting to know stuff about that, and about how weapons have worked in the older editions. Um, you know, you've got all the reference information for, or if you ever, uh, want to compare notes with somebody about, 
uh, you know, weapons that make more sense now or they made more sense later. And if you're kind of DM that you're looking at a great sword and you're going, there's no way that thing is only six pounds. That's got to be heavier than that. Um, then, you know, you've got a range um, from six on the light end all the way up to 25 on the heavy end. Um, you know, 25 pound great sword, that's kind of like one of those World of Warcraft things that, you know, you put it on your back and it's, the blade is as wide as your character is and the handle sticks up, you know, like twice as tall as your character does when he's riding on his, uh, his or her mount, uh, when your character is on the mount. <laughs> it's like, okay, now that's a 25 pound weapon, uh, if I ever if I ever heard one or saw one. Okay, everybody, if you like what we're doing here on this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Also, if you click that notification bell, you will get a notice every time that we drop a new video on the channel. Um, I am DM Galabon. You'll find all of the contact information down in the description. Also, I'd love to see your comments on these weapons. Uh, what do you think? I mean, do you think that the 5th edition stats for a greatsword are about right? Or do you prefer the stats that they have in some of the other editions? Would you really like to see uh, greatswords take up 25 pounds in a character's inventory? <laughs> or or uh, do you think 6 pounds is about right? Or do you think 6 pounds is too light and there should be somewhere in the middle uh, like they've done? All right. Uh, that's going to be it for me. Uh, hope you join us tomorrow for Skills on Sunday. Uh, and hope we'll see you back here next week for Combat Saturday. All right, everybody. Have a great evening. Uh, and peace out.